Hello lads and lasses and welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about the first day of the Seller Cup. We'll talk a little bit about the Villarreal Nice game, a little bit about Newcastle women versus West Bromwich Albion women and then we'll get out of the big stuff which is the men's game today. Before we get into any of that though, if you're new here, around here or if you're friends still here quite often, do go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn those notifications on. Blah, blah, same thing every video. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers before the end of the year. We are currently on 129 as of recording this. And a lot of the viewers who are watching these videos are not actually subscribed. So let's change those numbers. Let's get those subscribers up. Let's get into this video. So, as I said, we will quickly talk about the Villarreal Nice game and the Newcastle and West Brom women game. Uh, the Villarreal Nice game was it was actually quite a decent game. It was all right. Um, Villarreal were very standoff. They were very defensive. Nice couldn't take their chances when they got them. Uh, I thought Todibo actually played very well. And I don't know who it was, but Nice's left back was very very good. Very good attack and very good defensive. Solid solid left back from Nice there. Uh, but yeah, Villarreal offered absolutely naff all in that game. They got a penalty, which is the only reason they scored. And even then, Brennan Diaz uh, missed the penalty. It got saved and had to score via rebound. So it was an all right game. The atmosphere was not quite the atmosphere we had for the Newcastle men's game. It was quite quiet still, but it was there was still quite a few people in there. And then the last game of the day, which is not finished just over an hour ago by the time I'm recording this. Um, it's a Newcastle women's game. Ended 3-0. Uh, to Newcastle, uh, one of the goals, uh, very poor goalkeeping from West Brom. Uh, it it really it helps doesn't help their case of trying to you know get people to think it's a serious sport. But I thought the game was actually all right. It was very to Newcastle. Um, the women did very well. I was impressed with one of the midfielders. I don't remember who it is. I couldn't see their number properly, so I can't even have a look. Um, but yeah, one of their central midfielders that stayed on for the entire game. Very impressed with her. I thought she was a great player. Uh, West Brom, uh, I would say unlucky, but they created like maybe three chances. I think uh, they we played two goalkeepers, and I think they only touched the ball once between them. So it was an interesting watch. Uh, not a lot of people there, surprisingly. A lot of people watched the men game and then just went home. A bit poor from us, I think, but the game, I, I enjoyed the game as it was. I think I liked it a bit quieter. Uh, and the Seagulls were an annoyance. Um, Jesus Christ. I thought I was going to die at one point. There were just Seagulls everywhere. Only for that women's game, so I nearly missed a chance we had because of seagulls genuinely thought i was gonna die so that was the two other games that were played today um obviously with villarreal and nice's results they both have two points on the board each scoring a goal and each getting a draw so that's two points that's how math works uh but my thoughts on the newcastle game i think we played quite well um, I thought there was great link up between Almiron and Tonali. They built up a similar sort of link up to what Almiron and Bruno did last season uh, before the World Cup. It sort of dipped after, uh, but we could see a similar sort of thing uh, with Tonali and Almiron, which would be good to see. Uh, we spent too much time actually on the ball, so as chances, there was chances for Almiron, chances for Gorn, chances for Isaac, all in the box where they just kind of like stand with the ball, and then. Uh, Anderson, I don't know if I said Anderson, I don't think I did. Uh, Anderson as well, um, kind of just like, they get in at the box, they don't shoot, they try and move foot, and then they put the ball across, and it amounts to nothing. It's something we need to get rid of at the start of this new season, um, but I'm sure that will go with time. Uh, what else? We The goal was actually very nice. I'm sure you would have seen it by now. It's been tweeted left, right, and centre. The Almiron goal... Um, it was it was a good one. It was a nice dribble by uh, Isaac, and then it was a lovely shot by Almiron. Uh, I got to see it. I was sitting in the Lisa's east corner. Uh, it's pro it's like one of the lowest time. Like it's one of the lowest seats I've sat in. 
Um, and I'll be sitting in a similar place tomorrow as well when I go watch the game. Uh, so I actually got to see that goal very, very well. It was very nicely worked. It was good to watch uh, that goal go in. And then Isaac's goal up the other end from a corner, which I actually nearly missed. Because uh, we never score from corners, but we did today. Um, so yeah, Isaac made it 2-0. Um, Isaac played very well on the wing. And I was uh, impressed with uh, Alex Murphy from the off. He's play, he played great today. Playing in that right centre back role it shows that we need depth there. If if we're needing a um if we need to play Parkinson there because he's a left footer. Uh, Shaw obviously still out injured. How came out and said um so he won't be playing tomorrow. So we'll probably see Lascelles tomorrow. Uh, I wasn't miles off with the starting eleven. I also wasn't that close. Um, ah, but it is what it is. Miley did start at six. He did start in the six, which is what I said he would do. Anyway, um, and Gordon obviously played very well. Uh, Gordon thriving this preseason. Same with Anderson, both doing very, very well this season. Uh, Gordon had a chance to get a goal, and he shot straight at the keeper. Something we also need to work on. A lot of the times when we were, like got some free space, the players shoot at the keeper, pick a side, drill it there. Probably going to be a goal. Bob Jerungle, easy peasy lemon, squeezy. So, yes. Um... We also had Tonali play well. Um, I thought, especially with his link with Almiron early on, was very good. Uh, it's just overall game, very defensively solid. Uh, same with Murphy. Murphy was defensively solid throughout the game. There was only like one, one, one time when he went on sort of attack and run. Uh, that was a little bit disappointed, but he was meant to be playing centre-back, so I'm not that bothered. I'm not going to get hung up on it. Uh, Miley played all right. Uh, he kind of went missing in the game, but I think that was more just due to him playing as... A six. I think you do tend to go missing playing that defensive midfield role a little bit more. Uh, but again, you know he's young. He's seventeen. He'll have to, he's got loads of time to learn. Um, Anderson, I thought was fantastic, showing the strength he has as well. Again during that game, just bullying players off the ball. It was great to see. Great to see in person as well because he didn't do that a lot last season. Uh, and the defense, I don't think was actually tested. Um, so it's hard to give my verdict on them, but when the word when the ball really was coming down, I thought they did quite well to deal with it. Uh, so yeah, Fiorentina didn't possess much of an attack very often. When they did, we managed to deal with it. We did quite well. Stand out from defence would have to be Murphy, um, and then Parkinson came on later on to play as a striker. So as I said earlier this week, expect Parkinson to probably be our third choice striker. Um, and then Gordon, probably fourth choice, because he's going to be one of the first choice wingers. Um, if I had to pick a man of the match today, I would probably pick... Uh, ooh, who would I pick? I think I would pick Anderson, if I'm going to be honest. He gets the coveted crown of the day uh, for Seller Cup game number one. That puts us five points at, up. Well, it gives him a five points. Um, that's stupid, but you know it is what it is. Means more goals, which is what we want to see. Uh, so we kind of just need to not lose the next game, or if we do lose, just score loads of goals, and I think we'll be all right. But yes, that's my opinion. We've got a new section of the show, though. I say the show, the video. Uh, we've got the BS section. This is the brother and sister review. Uh, I asked. I go and watch the games with my brother and sister most of the time. Premier League games. That's who I go and watch them with today. So I went and watched it with tomorrow. You will just get the B review. But usually it'll be the BS review. So we're going to give that now. Um, you know what? I'll give my brothers first. Because my sister's is actually quite good. So you'll want to stick around and watch that. Uh, my older brother has said that good opportunities were created in the first half. But seem afraid to shoot at times. Uh Instead, and so instead of taking the shot, they're turning back. As I said before, they're just playing the ball along, and it's leading to nothing, and it's annoying, and they need sorted out. Uh, we've got a potential for good link up between Isaac and Gordon uh, if they can get more game time together, and I can't see that happening because I do think Gordon will be the starting left winger early on in the season, at least in the league. If not, he'll be starting on the right, and I think they can still build that, build that up over the season. We'll have to see where Harvey Barnes plays tomorrow because, I mean, if he 
starts on the right or if he goes to the right during the game. I think we could see potentially Gordon starting on the left, Bond starting on the right, and we could see them sort of move around each other during the entire game. A front three, that's constantly changing. We don't just have a solid striker. We can also put Gordon there, put Barnes there. It'll be interesting to see what we can do uh, through the season. Isaac's dribbling is still a strong point that we can build on when attacking. Don't think we do it enough. Isaac's dribbling is fantastic. It's amazing. It's been great to see it so up close as well. Um, obviously, we've seen it this pre-season. I've just seen it on the telly. Um, didn't see it a lot last season, I don't think. I missed the, the dribbling against Everton because I had to listen to it via radio. So that it was great to see him actually dribble in person. He is very, very good, very technical with his dribbling. A lot of people have been saying this as well. Uh, Target looks uncomfortable, and it could possibly be due to his lack of game time last season. We definitely need to bring in a left back at least on loan. Obviously, it's not going to be Lewis Hall. I did talk about that yesterday. I think I mentioned it. He is going to go to Crystal Palace. So it is a shame that we're not going to have a like starting out and out brilliant left back. We're going to be stuck with Dan Byrne and Matt Target, who, especially in European football, I think will struggle. Uh, Tonali looks decent and looks like there is potential to build a similar relationship with Almron as Bruno has. Exactly what I said. Pr pretty similar sort of thinking people, I would say. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he had that great link up. And even with Trips, he had really good link up. Just needs that game time. He needs that training time together. And I think they will get spot on. Uh, Miley and Anderson both look solid in midfield and aren't afraid to get stuck in at tackles. Anderson, I think, especially with his the strength he uses, uh, Miley just great stand up defender from from how he's played this, uh, t well today. And it'll be good to see what he can do in the cup runs, in the Premier League appearances, maybe even Champions League appearances. He gets uh, we'll have to see. As I said, Anderson's strong on the ball, and so I heard, I just heard, overheard this uh, from someone in the stadium. The way Anderson puts himself between the ball and the man is actually really, really good. And, uh, Great building point of his game. He uses his strength really well to keep the defender on his back, the ball in front of him, so he can attack. And I think if we can get someone to help him with that, so if the likes of uh, Isaac or Gordon can make slightly different runs to better help Anderson so he doesn't have to dribble everything, then that'd be great. But again, that's something we're going to work on throughout the season. I think that's something that'll definitely be built on. Uh, Dubravka going to done a decent job. Uh, and going to fill well as the backup on cup com competitions when called upon and the defence wasn't tested Botman looked solid as always for the second goalkeeper I'm going to have to agree that Botman probably uh, not Botman, that Dubrovka is going to actually be second fiddle uh, just because Karius hasn't had the game time if he was going to play second fiddle you probably would have seen him today so unless he's going to play tomorrow we'll give him put that extra bit of rest Dubrovka's probably going to be, be second fiddle, probably going to be playing in those cup games. We'll have to see what how Karius fits in because he's only signed the year contract, but you don't want to be... He's a good goalkeeper. You don't want to be having that calibre uh, just sitting around, not even on the bench at times. So the S part of this BS review is my sister. Now, there's four lines and... They've got pretty much nothing to do with the game itself, which is great. That's what we want in this review. So first, we've got uh, Salmon, as in the fish, is a whack goalie uh, because the the Fiorentina goalkeeper wore a pink goalkeeper kit. So that's a good bit of review. Uh, the kits look like rugby kits. They're talking about the Fiorentina kits again. And to be fair, they did a little bit. I think it was the colour. Uh, Isaac is really not good at dribbling, really tall, actually. He's really tall, is, is her review there. And the ref is a word I'm not going to say, but awful. I'll change it to. It begins with a W, ends in anchor. So, you know, uh, and I, I don't think the ref was that bad. She was angry about the lack of cards in the friendly, I guess. But she'll be excited for the Premier League. Uh, when there's cards galore with those new rules that I talked about the other day. So yes, that is the review of today's game. Hope you enjoyed my review. Hope you enjoyed the BS review. Uh, that will be a reoccurring thing during the season. So if you are liking that, 
hit go down below hit that subscribe button and if you just want bs reviews i'll give you the bs reviews all the time so yes that is it for this video i will see you tomorrow for the next seller cup game review i'm not sure what time i'll get down there. i don't know if i'll actually get to see the fiorentina nice game um because i i'm busy until like half 12 and then i have to get the metro up and then walk so i'll see i might be able to catch the second half the end of the game uh, but i'll get there when i get there but i'll have the review of the newcastle game as always but yes like subscribe notifications turned on all the good stuff in a bit pal